Um, here's what we need to remember from Mother's Day. The Modern American Holiday was first celebrated in 1908 when Anna Jarvis held a mem memorial for her mother in Grafton, West Virginia. Her campaign to make Mother's Day a recognized holiday in the U.S. actually began in 1905, the year her mom, Ann Reeves Jarvis, died. Her mission was to honor her own mother by continuing work she started and to set aside a day to honor mothers, quote, the person who has done more for you than anyone in the world. Anna's mother, Ann Jarvis, was a peace activist who cared for wounded soldiers on both sides of the Civil War and created Mother's Day work clubs to address public health issues. Now, I do want to point out that the, in, in terms of prehist in terms of that prehistory, um, it's not related to the many celebration of mothers and motherhood that have occurred throughout the world over thousands of years, such as the Greek cult, the Cybele, the Roman festival of Hilaria, or the Christian Mothering Sunday celebration, which originally a celebration of Mother Church, not motherhood. Even though, I mean, despite this in some countries, Mother's Day has become synonymous with these older traditions. Um, and by the way, who is that mom holding that card with the gray hair at the Wikipedia page for Mother's Day? I really wish I could have someone managed to submit a photo of Anna Jarvis. Anyway, or at least in, in her mother. Anyway, in 1912, Anna Jarvis trademarked the phrases Second Sunday in May and Mother's Day, that's Mother Apostrophe S, and created the Mother's Day in International Association. She specifically noted that Mother's Apostrophe S should, quote, be a singular possessive for each family to honor its mother, not a plural possessive commemorating all mothers of the world. This is also the spelling used by the U.S. President Woodrow Wilson in his 1914 presidential proclamation by the U.S. Congress in relevant bills and by various U.S. Presidents in their proclamations concerning Mother's Day. However, Mother's Day, plural possessive, or Mother's Day, plural non-possessive, are also sometimes seen. As the United States holiday was adopted by other countries and cultures, the date was changed to fit already existing celebrations honoring motherhood, such as Mothering Sunday in the UK or in Greece, the Orthodox celebration of the presentation of Jesus Christ to the Temple, um, which is the 2nd of February of Julian calendars, Groundhog Day. Hmm. Both the secular and religious mothers, Mother Day are present in Greece. Mothering Sunday is often referred to as Mother's Day, Pasrias, even though it is an unrelated celebration. In some countries, this date was changed to a date that was significant to the majority religion, such as Virgin Mary Day in Catholic countries. Other countries selected a date with historical significance. For example, Bolivia's Mother's Day is a date of a battle in which women participated. You have to see the um, International History and Tradition section at Wikipedia for the complete list. But um, ex-communist countries used to celebrated the Socialist International Women's Day instead of the more capitalist Mother's Day. Some ex-communist countries, such as Russia, still follow this custom or simply celebrate both days, which is the custom in Ukraine. Kyrgyzstan has recently introduced Mother's Day, but International Women's Day remains a more widely popular holiday. Now, um, in Myanmar, it's on the it's a full day, full moon day in January. In Norway, it's the second Sunday of February. In Georgia not the state, in the country Georgia, it's March 3rd. In Afghanistan, Albania, Kosovo, Armenia, Romania, Bulgaria, Kazakhstan, Laos, Macedonia, Republic of Moldova, Montenegro, Vietnam, Tajikistan, Serbia, and Slovenia, it's March 8th. In Ireland, United Kingdom, and Nigeria, it's the fourth Sunday in Lent. In Bahrain, Comoros, Comoros, the Djibouti, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Libya, Lebanon, Mauritania, Oman, Palestine, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, United Arab Emirates, and Yemen, it's March 21st, the vernal equinox. In Slovenia, it's March 25th. In Armenia, it's Annunciation Day, or April 7th. In Hungary, Lithuania, Mozambique, Portugal, and Spain, it's the first Sunday of May. In South Korea, it's Parents' Day, May 8th. Uh, now, while for us, it happens, this year it happens to be May 10th, the second Sunday of May. May, it's Mother's Day is May 10th, it's always May 10th in El Salvador, Guatemala, and Mexico. Um, the only other countries that, well, let me, let me, let me just skip ahead a little bit. In Paraguay, same day as Dia de la Patria, it's May 15th. In Kyrgyzstan, or Russia, you know, Russia, in that region, 
or in Russia it's May 19th, in Poland it's May 26th, in Bolivia it's May 27th, it's the last Sunday of May, sometimes the first Sunday of June if it's Pentecost, in Algeria, Dominican Republic, Madagascar, Mar Morocco, Haiti, Mauritius, Senegal, Sweden, and Tunisia. Now in France it's the first Sunday of, of June if Pentecost occurs on this day. In the French Antilles it's the first Sunday of June if Pentecost also occurs on this day. In Nicaragua, May 30th. In Mongolia it's Mothers and Children's Day, June 1st. In Luxembourg it's the second Sunday of June. In South Sudan it's the first Monday of July. In Thailand, the birth of Queen Sirikit, the birthday of Sirikit, it's August 12th. In Costa Rica and Antwerp, Belgium, it's the Assumption of Mary, August 15th. In Malawi, it's the second Monday of October. In Belarus, it's been October 14th since 1986. In Argentina, it's the third Sunday of October, also known as Dea de la Madre. In Russia, it's the last Sunday of November. In Timor-Leste, it's November 3rd. In Panama, it's December 8th, Feast of the Immaculate Conception. In Indonesia, it's uh, December 22nd. Um, and of course, when it's the second Sunday in May in America, we don't celebrate alone by far. We join in Anguilla, Antigua and Barbado, Barbuda, Aruba, Australia, Austria, Bahamas, Bangladesh, Barbados, Belgium, Belize, Bermuda, Bonaire, Botswana, Brazil, Brunei, Canada, Cambodia, Chile, China, Colombia, Croatia, Cuba, Curacao, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark, Dominica, Ecuador, Estonia, Ethiopia, Fiji, Finland, Germany, Ghana, Greece, Grenada, Guernsey, Guyana, Honduras, Hong Kong, Iceland, India, Italy, Isle of Man, Jamaica, Japan, Jersey, Kenya, Latvia, Liberia, Liechtenstein, Macau, Malaysia, Malta, Netherlands, New Zealand, Pakistan, Papua New Guinea, Peru, Philippines, Puerto Rico, St. Kitts and Everett, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Samoa, Singapore, St. Martin, Slovakia, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Suriname, Switzerland, Taiwan, Tanzania, Tonga, Trinidad and Tobago, Turkey, Uganda, Ukraine, Uruguay, Vietnam, Venezuela, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Five countries, including America. Um, but in some certain calendars, for example, the one for Israel, and the it's Shabbat 30, which in Gregorian on a Gregorian calendar is between January 30th and March 1st. In Nepal, it's the Mata Tith Tirtha Ansi, the Baisaka Amaya Vas Vasna is between April 19th and May 19th. In Iran, it's Jumanda al Thon on the 20th. And it's normally, April, which is pretty much April. Last year uh, last year was April 20th, 2014. This year it's April 10th. Next year it's March 30th. I can't quite understand the, the uh, translation. But, um, I should also quickly point out that although Jarvis was successful in finding Mother's Day, she soon became resentful that commercial commercialization was angry that companies would profit from the holiday. By the early 1920s, Hallmark and other companies started selling Mother's Day cards. Jarvis became so embittered by what she saw as misinterpretation and exploitation that she protested and even tried to rescind the holiday that she worked so hard for. It was supposed to be about sentiment, not profit. Her intention for the holiday had been for people to appreciate and honor mothers by writing a personal letter by hand, requesting love and gratitude, rather than buying gifts and pre-made cards. Jarvis organized boycotts and threatened lawsuits to try to stop the commercialization. She even crashed a candy maker's convention 
1923 Philadelphia. Two years later, she protested at a confab of the American War Mothers, which raised money by selling carnations, the flower associated with Mother's Day, and was arrested for disturbing the peace. It should also be noted that um, while Anna herself never had any children, um, she loathed the flowers and green cards and said, quote, any mother would rather have a line of the worst scribble from her son or daughter, she complained, than any fancy greeting card. She became a recluse who never left her house, posting, quote, warning, stay away signs on her front lawn. She refused to give interviews, but a reporter posing as a delivery man managed to speak with her, and he revealed, quote, she told me with terrible bitterness that she was sorry she had ever started Mother's Day. Um, she even... Yeah. Yeah, she persuaded pastors in nearby Grafton, West Virginia, and Philadelphia to hold Mother's Day services in their churches. And keep in mind, the carnation was Anna's mother's favorite flower. Um, by the way, Anna Jarvis worked as a school teacher in West Virginia, and um, she had launched a letter writing campaign. Wow. Clergy, media, congressmen. Well, it did also inspire Father's Day, but that's next month. You know what's funny? Um, could go on with the Wikipedia page, but I would really love to um, yeah, the Wikipedia page here is full of International history and tradition, religion, by country, what goes on around the world. <sighs> yeah, we actually s officially celebrate Mother's Day on the second Sunday in May in 1872. Julie Ward Howe called for women to join in support of disarmament and asked for June 2nd, 1872 to establish his Mother's Day for peace. Her 1870 appeal to womanhood throughout the world is sometimes referred to as Mother's Day Proclamation, but House Day was not for honoring mothers, but for organizing pacifist mothers against war. In the 1880s and 1890s, there were several further attempts to establish mother, American's Mother's Day, but these did not succeed beyond the local level. The, the current holidays we spoke of, um, uh, to accomplish her mother's dream of making a celebration for her mothers, although the idea did not take off until she enlisted the services of wealthy Philadelphia merchant John Wanamaker, who celebrates it on who celebrated on May 8, 1910, in Bethany Temple Presbyterian Church in Philadelphia, of which he was the founder. In a letter to the pastor, she said it was, quote, our first Mother's Day. Jarvis kept promoting the holiday until, of course, President Woodrow Wilson made the day official in 1914. Um, yeah, she considered it a hallmark holiday, one with no one commercial purpose. Um, the economic modernization was inspired by U.S. models and was sponsored by the state. She died, Anna Jarvis died in 1948. Um, it's still one of the biggest selling, biggest days for sales of flowers, green cards, and the like. It's the biggest holiday for long distance telephone calls, although I thought that was Father's Day. Um, church going also popular on Mother's Day, yielding the highest church attendance after Christmas Eve and Easter. Um, Many worshippers celebrate the day, of course, with the carnations, colored if the mom is alive and white if she is dead. Um, um, yeah, she didn't like purchasing the green cards. She saw it as a sign of being too lazy to write a personal letter. Um, It is possible that the holiday would have withered over time without the support of continuous promotion of the florist industries and of the commercial industries. Other Protestant holidays from the same time, such as Children's Day and Temperance Sunday, do not have the same level of popularity. It's also prominent in Sunday comic strips in the newspapers in the U.S. Expression of emotion trades from sentiment to ride caustic. Um, <coughs> which reminds me of the world's youngest mother who was actually became a mom on Mother's Day. I would really like to interview her if she's still out there. Yeah, um... Um... 
Yeah, Lena Medina. Yep, she's... Yeah, she became a mother on May 14th, 1939, at the age of five years, seven months. She must... And that was Mother's Day. She's now 81. I would love to interview her if possible. And her daughter. Still alive on children. Anyway. Happy 